Last night we had uh, someone called Gator Experience. We had uh, it was a really really good event. Real appreciative of the former players coming back and and one of the great parts of the night is when we talk about rivalries. And one unique thing to Florida is that we do have three rivalry rivals and. Uh, James Bates was gracious enough with his time, and so was uh, Doug Johnson, and uh, the traditional Brad Culpepper speech came in, and uh, kids really looked forward to it. So that was, that's what happened last night. It was a great day, and then uh, today we had a really hard day, and got some production done today. So I don't know if you had told you, but uh, the quarterback got his uh, black stripe off too, so uh, Jordan Lee's a Gator. So. What do you have to do with the black stripe off? Yeah. We put him in the circle of love, circle of life, circle of hate, whatever it is that the girls call it. And uh, he went after uh, he went after uh, Kendrick Johnson and, and got him. And so if there's a, I guess we'll start that tradition. If you're a quarterback and you defeated the defense lineman, to get you straight off. Straight off. Spike, a couple Spike. Of, he's really going hard. Once again, no, no idea what he's doing, but that's, uh, we'll get that done. Spike. There are a couple of concussions with, with Patchen and, and Wright. Were those more serious than you thought? Or? Uh, yeah, yeah, because, you know, concussions a lot of time, I hate to say it like this, but it depends on who the guy is. You know, because concussion is hard to measure. And those two, uh, Major Wright and uh, Patch, they're as tough as you get. And Patch will practice. He was out there today, no contact. He'll practice uh, this afternoon. Major Wright uh, is still a day behind. How about, try to practice today. How about John Bostick? John Bostick had a neck stinger. He practiced today. He's fine. Are you settled at defensive tackle, or is that still kind of a Oh, no, 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 no. Time. It's big time. It's, uh, I mean, Sanders and uh, Jay Howard right now splitting time with uh, Sanders. Marsh is the other starter, and we're looking for a backup. Epps did better today. Omar is doing okay. Um, and then B.A. is not practicing because of the knee, so he'll practice probably another two weeks. You know, Jim Barry's knee's bothering him. He went through that real tough surgery a year ago. Uh, he didn't practice today. Um, I think that's about it. Ahmad Black, you looking for him to put on a little weight this time? He just has to maintain his weight, you know, he, and uh, he gets down. You have to play 185, 86, and he just, he's got that body that we're up, is, we're on him pretty hard. Mm-hmm. And uh, he, he's doing very well, though. He had great practice today. Did and Will Hill had another great practice. Did you report on your weight? Come on, Black. Uh, that was part of the, you know, when we were kind of on him, you know, we just want to make sure he's taking care of his business in the classroom and and then also his back injury. So there's a multitude of reasons why he didn't report on the reporting date. Now that you've had a chance to evaluate the film from Saturday's scrimmage, anything stand out to you? Uh, we did Champions Club. I, I probably should get that. It, it was just uh, really just an introduction to Champions Club. We had 107 plays instead of. You know, 64, like we said, we're going to have, so we want it much longer. Uh, but no, it was, it was, we need to do that. We're only going to have one more chance to give them a game like simulation before they play. Uh, biggest weakness is our offensive line because until they're all back, you know, you take Mike Marquise Pouncey out and patching out, and you're struggling. And there's some guys playing with the first unit that have no business being there. And then the other one is receiver. You know, who's going to pick up for Murphy, Murphy Slack? And it looks like right now it's going to be. Uh, uh, Deontay and Coop. If we need, you know, we need one of the other guys to step up and play. In a, in a perfect world, at what point during training camp do you want to have your starting five be offensive line? Uh, I mean, you have to on game week, obviously. And, and they're telling me Marquise Pounce will be back by then. Patch will be back. So that's Marcus Gilbert's earned it. He's I, I, I've told you, Pouncey, Pouncey, Carl are starters. Marcus has earned that right now. He's a starter. Played his best scrimmage in the scrimmage we had just a couple days ago. So he's your fourth starter. And uh, getting close. I'm back for strength for you guys? Yeah, I think it is. The guy that's playing much better than he's ever played since he's been here is uh, A.J. Jones. He had a tremendous scrimmage. He's earned a starting spot. You know, Brandon Nix has an ankle sprain. It'll probably be another four or five days. A.J. Jones is starting to earn some what we thought. We thought he would be what he is now, and he wasn't for two years, and he's really coming on. How's Lorenzo? How's Lorenzo? How's Lorenzo? Lorenzo's doing okay. You know, he's still got to make plays. He's a hard worker, and he's having a good camp. Anyway, as much as people make about not having Percy, is not having Lewis just like that pure receiver. That's a bigger problem. I, I think, I think, I think it is. I told our staff that you know, I think he's the most underrated. He's starting for the Raiders. The, the coach called me and told me how proud he is of the guy. Uh, you think about the Alabama game, and he, a big. I mean, I can count right now three tremendous plays in that game, and obviously the national championship game. So he's. Uh, that's a major loss in our program. And I think with Tebow and Harvin and all these others, Brandon James, Brandon Spikes, also, what happened to this Murphy guy? Murphy, you put him on a lot of other teams, probably, probably an All-American. That's how good a player he was. And uh, right now we're having a hard time filling this void. So do you run 
if you were starting today, you'd run Riley out there in that spot, or is that Riley and Deontay? Okay. And uh, David's more of an inside guy, but uh, Riley and Deontay will both share that spot right now. Now that now that Moody is back in, how does your tailback situation? They're they're uh, Demps is the number one guy right now. Rainey's having a really good. He's, he's becoming an all-purpose back, and Moody's still a little bit gimp, so he's not full speed yet. But he had a good scrimmage, so he looks solid. And Gillisley's right. You no, know, Gillisley once again, uh, he'll be on. He'll play this year, but he'll probably be on special teams and then in a in a position where he just keeps learning. How excited are you about the potential of these special teams? Oh, I think it's, it could be it could be a freak show. I'm hoping it is. And uh, we had a kickoff. It was all kickoff stuff today. And yeah, Gillisley, you got Josh Evans, you got Jelani Jenkins, Brendan Beal's doing really good. You got uh, uh, Bostic, so we got some cats that can go.